In Office 365, when you send a message or reply to a message, you can always come back to it and delete it. You can also delete an entire conversation if you no longer find it useful for your group. So I'm currently viewing a conversation thread in the Smart Home Budget 2017 group. To view the details of each message in this thread, I can select the drop-down arrow beside the sender's name on the far right-hand side, and then I can select Show Details. Once I select that, that will allow me to see who this message was sent to. If I scroll down, I can do the same thing for any other message in this thread. So I can do the same thing for this message and select Show Details, as well as for Lisa's reply, and that will show me the two field. Now I can see a message in more detail by opening it in a separate window. So if I go back to the More Options drop-down menu and then select Open in a separate window, I can see the original message below and I can see who it was from, when it was sent, who it was sent to, and the subject line. And I can see any replies to the original message above. I'm going to select the X in the top right-hand corner to close this window. Now, if I go to one of Julia's messages and select the More Options drop-down, I can see that the option to delete her message is grayed out. This is because I did not write this message and therefore cannot edit or delete it. If I select one of my messages, however, I can see that I do have the option to delete this message because I wrote it. I'm going to select Delete. So a message will pop up asking me to confirm deletion of my message. I'm going to select Yes. And my message will be removed from the conversation thread. You can also delete an entire conversation if you are the owner of the group. So if I go over to the left-hand side panel here and select my Green Homes Project group, and from this conversation here between me and Julia, for example, I'm going to go over to the far right-hand side and select the arrow beside the subject line this time. And I can see that I have the option to delete the entire conversation. Once I select that, a message will pop up asking me to confirm. And I'm going to select Yes to confirm. So that conversation will be deleted, but note that any attachments included in a conversation thread will be saved. Now, even if other people have participated in a conversation thread, I can delete their messages. So if I go to my Smart Home Technologies group, and from this message here, if I scroll down to Julia's message and select the drop-down arrow, I can see that I do have the option to delete her message, and that is because I am the owner of this group. I'm going to click outside to close and scroll back up to the top and select the arrow beside the message subject. And I can see that I also have the option to delete the entire conversation. I'm going to click outside to close. Note that if the same message or conversation appears in more than one group, it will only be deleted from the specific group that you deleted it from. So if I go back to my Green Homes Project group and delete this message here from Julia, I'm going to select the arrow in the top right hand corner and select Delete Conversation. I'm going to confirm by selecting Yes. I can see that that message has been removed from the Green Homes Project group. However, if I go to the Alternative Energy group, I can see the exact same message in this group. And if I try to delete it, I can see that I cannot delete this conversation because I am not the owner. I'm going to click outside to close. So you now know how to manage your group messages in Office 365 groups.